All right, so having the purpose conversation. Next, these people were not a team, right? They were just great stars coming to play in the Olympics. So beyond galvanizing the heart of the team, we also have the system in place. We need a system to create the mind of the team. And what I wanna go through with you now is a framework for creating that system. And I've developed this framework by looking at what Coach K has done with all his teams, his Duke teams, the Olympic teams, as well as what I've now investigated in a lot of companies and teams I've worked with to see how they apply this, these ideas. So from all of my research, here's where we go. It is a three-part system. Number one, you have to create a collaborative mindset. Who are you as a team? You kind of know who you are as a person, but who are you as a team? The team has to have some kind of an identity. And what does it mean, for example, to be Team USA? What, what does that exactly mean? And what Coach K said is that to be a team, you have to have standards. And standards are principles that as a group, we want to agree, this is what we're going to aspire to be as a team. And so I'll just, just show you some examples of uh, how he involved the team to come up with principles that they would like to expect of themselves and each other. So for example, no excuses. Well, what does that mean? No excuses means you can't blame the competitors, you can't blame the customers, you can't blame jet lag. Whatever your results are, you own, and there are no excuses. This is what the team did. Trust is big, right? We have to find ways to build trust, and we'll talk more about that in a moment. I'm fascinated with number three. We look each other in the eye. Okay, he said, well, the team said, when we talk to each other, we look each other in the eye. And you can see how that's very culturally specific. Because in Asia, that would be a sign of disrespect in some cultures. So you can't impose standards on a team. The team has to come up with how we want to behave together. How do we want to engage with each other? Uh, we win together and lose together, right? It's not about individual glory. It's about how we, we give aid to a teammate, right? So if somebody's down, we don't step on them to go get the ball. First, we pick them up, then we go get the ball. I want to show you what the difference is between a standard and a rule. So if you see the one that says we're always on time, that's something we aspire to live up to, to be on time. A rule would be something like Coach K telling the players, you have to be in bed by 10 o'clock every night on the day before a game. Bedtime, lights out, 10 p.m. I really don't want to be the person to tell LeBron James he has to be in bed by 10 p.m. lights out. Because first of all, how am I going to enforce that? Secondly, rules are just made to be broken, aren't they? People think that they're humiliating, they're demeaning. I don't need to be in bed by 10 p.m. Who the, I'm, I'm an adult, you're gonna tell me to be in bed by 10 p.m. So they're rigid, they're tactical, and they just really don't. They don't they're not effective because people will find ways to break them. Standards are more aspirational. They create expectations. We're always on time. If I'm LeBron James, I gotta figure out what it's gonna take for me to be on time. It might mean I have to be in bed at 8 p.m. to be on time, but that's my choice. That's already a decision as an adult I can make. So again, I, I, I think that the difference between a rule is that a rule is demeaning, whereas standards bring meaning. They create more of this sense of engagement with one another of expectation rather than as soon as they close their eyes, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Now, what's the beauty of standards? Okay. These are principles we're going to live up to and the team can look at this and say, this is who we are. This is who we as a team are. And when the going gets tough and it will, you're going to have setbacks, stuff will happen. The team doesn't disintegrate. We can pull these back out and remind ourselves we don't just show up. That's how we show up. So standards help us even when the, when the going gets tough. Now, there are two standards that Coach K asks his team to work on, whether he's coaching Duke teams over the decades or this Olympic team. There are two, we'll call them values, that he asks them to think about how 